Hi, everybody. Welcome to my video today. I'm just getting set up here. I'm hoping the video will be okay. I did a live video somewhere else, and sometimes when you're uploading, then like your next live video doesn't work well. I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, actually. Okay. Hi, Martha. Iona. Iona was just in my other live. Hi, Debbie. Oh, lots of you guys are jumping on. Good morning, Daisy. I guess it's not really morning. I guess it's really more like afternoon. So, hello. We're going to do some creating this morning. Oh, I don't know. I'm just in morning mode, you guys. I've been creating all morning, and I did a live video in my membership group, and we talked about memory keeping, which was fun and interesting. I kind of have been, uh, I struggled this summer with creativity and with documenting, and I was talking about that. Chris, it was in our membership group. I think, I don't know what the deal is with Facebook. I feel like Facebook does not notify you in your groups anymore. Like if you're part of groups, like this that we're on right now is a business page. So I feel like my notifications go out for the most part. But I feel like if you're part of a group, I feel like you don't get notifications when people are live anymore. And I don't know how to fix it. It's weird. So the, it's, um, you can see the replay. It's just a lot of me rambling about how I don't know how to document. <laughs> so today for right now, we're going to do some creating and I've been creating this morning. I kind of just right away this morning when the kids went to work at like seven 30, I was like, I'm not going to look at emails. I'm not going to get on the computer like I am going to create. And I sat down and I have been creating all morning except with the exception of that live I did. And it's felt really nice. So let me show you guys a few things before we dive into what we're going to make. First, did you guys see this yesterday on my website? I created this little 10 and there is a video and a blog post up on my website. I'll link it here when I'm done. Like I'll pop it into our group um, onto this page. So you guys, because I don't think I copied and pasted the link like I normally do. But um, I made this. I love how it turned out. I, I have it sitting up on my shelf and I just, I can't seem to put it away. I think it's so cute. Um, I don't know, the ribbon is kind of messed up. But I love the way it turned out. I used the copper ink and the um, fall stamp set. And I think it's so super cute. So I love that. So I hope you guys saw that from yesterday. And then don't forget that the stamp club, my Ink It Up and Create stamp club is, open up, is opened up for the month of September so you can join. I will put a link into the description here when I'm done and then there's a post on there. Um, so if you want to join the Ink It Up and Create stamp club, super simple to join. You just fill out the form to join and then I send you a personal host code for you to use when you place your order. You place a $50 order. It has to be $50 before shipping and tax. You can order anything you want, but I give you a supply list so that you can complete the project that we work on. Um, it just, you don't have to order that if you don't want. It's just, that's what you'll need to complete the project. This month we're doing three cards and they are these right here that you're looking at. And you get a kit in the mail from me to make two each of these. So you'll make two each of the cards. And then you also get a bonus project. And then um, there is a live workshop in our Facebook group. So that's fun. So this is opened up and I'll put a link if you're wanting to join. I'll put a link for you to si sign up and then I'll get in touch with you. Um, I loved making these. These are a lot of fun. Hey, Elizabeth. Yeah, it's me again. <laughs> Back to ramble some more. Good morning, Angie from Australia. That's fun. So that is, oh, and then um, the last kind of update I have for you is... I think Stampin' Up! might be having some problems. I think the ordering website might 
have some issues. I I don't know if they do. I went in on my end and I tried everything and everything was fine. But I'm seeing all these posts from other demonstrators that are like, if you can't order, contact me. And I'm like, okay, I haven't got any official word from Stampin' Up that there's a problem. If you're having a problem placing your order, please just let me know so that A, I know something's going on and then I can help you. Um, Stamp Club orders are due by next weekend. So that email went out to all of our current Stamp Club members. And so if you're having a hard time getting your order placed, please let me know. And finally, finally, my paper share order shipped today. Can you believe it? I stayed up on Tuesday night until 2 a.m., and literally was like refreshing my computer, like refresh, 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 was in there the moment the system came back up, keyed in my order. It was keyed in in 10 minutes. I had it all written out on paper and ready to go. And so I was for sure that it would ship like Wednesday or at the latest on of Thursday. And it just shipped this morning. I was like, come on. Thank goodness it shipped. First world problems, right? But I like stayed up hoping. I was hoping to play this weekend is what the deal was, is I got some things and I was hoping to be able to play and um, create this weekend and did not turn out that way. So that shipped this morning. So I'm super glad about that. Um, and so we'll have some new go goodies next week. And then paper share stuff is going to get underway next week like that will be finished we'll get the facebook group opened up and we'll get ready to hang out and create together for the pajama party so today we're going to make a card and um we're going to use we're not using these punches but i wanted to show you because this is a bundle you can get the stamp set this is the christmas gleaming stamp set it is a red rubber set I love this. Um, so there's this, and then you can get a bundle and you could get punches. And these, I actually love that they did punches because I feel like sometimes it's easier to use punches than it is to get dyes out, right? All that shininess. So we're not using these today, but I wanted to show you that you can get these punches. And then we are, um, and actually we're not even using the stamp set. Uh, we're using a different stamp set, but this stamp set and the punches kind of coordinate with this suite of product where the paper is. So I had to show you guys that. So today we're really focusing on this paper and it has this copper foiling in it. Oh look, there's Halloween paper stuck in there. That's just a sign that I've been creating a lot, which is good, right? <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's probably really loud. So what I've done is I have some copper foil paper. Uh, let me see. I'm missing a comment. Okay, Martha said, FYI, from your video the other day, when you mentioned the donations for the mental health organization stamp set in the back of the catalog, Tammy White, good old Tammy White, I love Tammy White, said the reason they didn't say specific organization was because your $3 will go to the organization in your state or country. Oh, got it. That makes sense. State or country. So it's not just one place, which is really cool. Yeah, I agree. That is really cool. Tammy White must have called Stampin' Up and found out. Yay, thanks for that, Martha. Thanks so much for mentioning that. I th That is really cool. <laughs> uh, Tanya said she needs every bundle in the catalog. Yeah, I do too. So when you order your set, just order me one of everything and send it my way. <laughs> or maybe I should order one and send it your way. <laughs> Right. Good morning, Julie. Okay, good. Oh, I'm so glad that you shared that, Martha. Thank you so much. Um, so what I've done is I've just taken my copper foil and foiling sheet and I've left it in my with my designer paper because it coordinates with this paper. And you'll see that we have lots of copper foiling. So I don't know if this is just the trend or if it's just... I like, I don't know if it's trendy or if it's just something that's happening, but like copper is getting very, very popular. Like, I feel like we saw little pieces of copper last year in the holiday catalog, and this year it is full of copper. 
So these, I just wanted to show you a couple of these sheets. This, I really love the green. I think this is going to be so pretty for Christmas. I don't love the, um, the blue and the, like the Knight of Navy and the pretty peacock for Christmas stuff. But I feel like a couple of these sheets are really pretty for Christmas. I think there's some other things that you could do with this. Like this, I don't know that I would use this for Christmas. I don't know that I would use this for Christmas. It'd be pretty for bags or boxes, but like this, I definitely would. And there's just, I mean, I'm going to play around with some of this. I have some ideas for a couple things I want to play around with and just see. It's just, I'm not necessarily drawn right away to those kinds of colors for Christmas, but I am just leaving my copper foiling pages in with my designer paper. So I'm going to use the copper ink pad because I really want to show you guys this. It's really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, perfectly plaid set and we just need a sentiment. We don't need anything else because we are focusing on that designer paper. Since the designer paper is so beautiful, um, I thought that we would focus in on the designer paper to create with. So we're going to need our stamp pad. And then I have some pieces that are already set up for us. I had originally, the reason I was kind of playing with these earlier, I had originally cut these out. This is Knight of Navy and Garden Green. And I had cut these out because I was going to use them on this card and then they ended up being too big. So now I kind of have them sitting on my desk because of course I want to use them since I took the time to cut them. But I just have a big box that, um, here, I'll show you guys. Let me show you it. So here's my big box of just stuff. So when I cut things and I don't use them, and the kids will get into this and they'll use stuff. There's some, like these were doilies and stuff. But you can see like I have... Um, Here's like leaves, stitched circles, there's tags, and I just throw stuff in here when I don't use it, and then I just try to remember. I don't always remember to, but I try to dig through it. Like here's some copper um, foiling paper, and um, there's some, here's this happy birthday thing. So this is a good thing to do, you guys. Just get a box. This is just an old Erin Condren box that I took the lid off of and I just throw my extra pieces in there so that I can use them. So if I don't find a use for these, I'll throw them in the box and then I'll be able to use them at some point. I am too, um, Elizabeth, this plaid, in fact, you just saw this, this plaid paper because we were talking about it in our other live. But this plaid paper with the gold foiling, I just love it. Uh, Daisy said her list was big enough to get Stampin' Rewards this morning and then some. <laughs> I know, I know, huh, Daisy? I know. Um, come on over, Daisy, come on over. Uh, Chris and I are trying to like nail down a date for a little fall crafting party because we're we haven't crafted together in a long time. Um, oh, good. A couple of you guys do that already. You do have the box. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to focus on the designer paper because it's so pretty. So what I've done is I've just used my stitched squares and I've cut out some squares. So Salt Lake isn't that far, Daisy. You get, you probably get your orders really fast. This was my original kind of idea is I wanted to layer these, but it didn't kind of work out. My original thought didn't work out. So what I have here, which is something that I normally don't use, is I have some very vanilla cardstock. Okay, so this is not something that I use very often. When I first started using Stampin' Up! product, I used it a lot because I loved it. Um, I feel like it is 
um, it, well, it's a cream, right? So it's not as bright as the Whisper White. And sometimes that can be really nice. Um, and then now I tend to use whatever I'm like, whatever coordinates. Like now I feel like I have a little bit of a problem mixing. Like if it's Whisper White, um, in the designer paper, I struggle with mixing very vanilla and Whisper White, but you totally can. Okay, so I have the card base right here. You guys see? I feel like my phone is sort of um, blocking my, my iPad where my comments are. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh my gosh, how fun, Daisy, that the Stampin' Up! headquarters is like 12 miles away. I want to come to your house and craft with you, and then we can have a little... Um, field trip to the Stampin' Up! home office. How fun. I've been to the home office once. I took a, um, it was like a all day class kind of thing. And at the time I didn't even know it was a big deal to be there. Isn't that funny? Um, I took a photo out by the rock that says Stampin' Up! And um, it was so fun, but I didn't know it was a big deal to be there. Now I would freak out if I was there. So the next thing I have is some of this foil, which you guys have to be really careful with. Now I have nails that are fake and um, I my nails are, are squared. So they have these corners on them. And I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but my nails leave indentations in this foil paper all the time. Like there's several of them. So I try to be really careful because if you, you know, poke it or if you've got nails, um, you'll definitely leave a mark. Okay, so what I want to do, so this piece here is going to be four by five and a quarter because... I gotta be able to pick this up because we're gonna layer it onto this, okay? So it's a very vanilla card base and then um, this layer is very vanilla. So I just took a quarter inch off, okay? So then my foil piece is gonna be three and three quarters. I think it's by three and three quarters, yes. So three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And this is gonna create a layer, okay? So I'm gonna show you how this is all gonna layer, layer together. Then what I've done is I have cut out with my stitched rectangles. How much do you just love this little image? This little stitched rectangle. I've cut out a stitched re rectangle with very vanilla cardstock. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do my sentiment. Now, I am going to show you this ink pad. So this is the copper. This is not foam. I don't believe it is foam. You know what? I think actually it is foam. Actually, you know what? I think it is a foam. But I don't think, <coughs> I don't think it's like our, I don't think it's a, fir, a firm foam. I don't think it's a firm foam like our ink pads are, but I do think it's foam. It feels like it's foam. Okay, so the other thing is, is that it's pretty, there's a pretty good raise on it. And it's, it's really juicy when you first get it. I haven't got a re-inker yet. Um, and so I was pleasantly surprised that this was as inky as it is. It is a pigment ink and it is in the color copper. Okay, so this is Delicata. And this is a, no, a known brand, so it's a very, um, it's a regular brand that you can find in stores. So if Stampin' Up! doesn't continue to carry the, these ink pads, you'll be able to find the re-inkers other places. Now that's this stamped out in, on Whisper White. Um, it doesn't stick like when you, um, 
when you stamp this down and I give it good firm pressure, it doesn't stick, like it doesn't pull your cardstock up with it. Okay, so we just stamped that and then you're going to see it does smear like it's been sitting there for, for a few seconds, you know, so it does smear right away. So you want to be careful with that. Nowhere near like these do. These I feel like never, ever, 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 ever dry. Like even if you heat set it, I always struggled with them not drying. So you can see that if you touch it right away, it, there's going to be, there's going to be a little bit of smearing, but if you take your heat tool, you can get it pretty dry. And if you press down, I mean, I'm pressing down, I mean, pressing down, I'm going to get a smear. But if you just, you know, if you're just touch, if you're just pressing down, it might be okay. So it is going to take a little bit of time, but nothing like these other ones. Maybe I can do a little stamp with this and show you the difference because there is a real difference. Let's get a, and I'll show you. This is very, very wet. I mean, see, it's so wet that it, I mean, it like smears off even the image. So can you guys see the difference with that? These, I mean, they're good. I've, I've used them for several years, but the way that they dry, could I drop any more things? It's just not great how long it takes to dry. These were the Encore, Encore, Encore. And this was, it doesn't say if it's a, if it's a pigment or not. Quick, quickly dries. Yeah, quickly dries my, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. It doesn't say if it's pigment or not. But the other thing with these is, um, you know, I haven't had to re-ink them. I mean, I've had them for two years and I've never re-inked it. And I mean, you saw it did stamp, it does stamp really good, but there just definitely is a difference. So if you're pressing down and of course the oils from your fingers are gonna, are gonna smear it. I suggest going ahead and hitting it with your heat tool, um, just, you know, to be on the safe side and then not maybe touching it right away. I'm gonna get this closer to me so I can stamp it in the center, you guys. Um, but I'll show you here in a second. So that's pretty good. And then I'll hit that with my heat tool and then we'll set it aside. And then this way, once I hit it with my heat tool and I'll go ahead and hit it with my heat tool And then I'll go ahead and just set it aside while I'm doing my other stuff. And by that time, we should be, you know, it should be okay. Okay, so we're going to put this down flat. So I just need a little bit of adhesive. Like so. And then let's add this here. See, I dented it again with my nail. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I just want you guys to be aware that this, um, the foil sheets are sensitive. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these. So when I cut these out, what I did is I tried to make sure that I was getting a lot of the gold foiling in these squares. So see how there's like the, there's, so they're kind of cut all over the place. Now the trick to this is gonna be to use this adhesive. 
So I'm just going to tell you that regular adhesive is not going to stick to these foil sheets. So what I'm using is the tear and tape. And I just pull off a big piece of it. And I'm going to put this tears so it's super easy to put on here. And I'm going to do about two pieces per square is going to seem like it's good. If I have any left over, I'll do a couple extras. Wow, look at that. That was pretty, almost perfect. Okay. So now to do these, I'm going to do this fairly quick. We're going to peel off the backings of these. I use my X-Acto knife. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm somewhat of a perfectionist, which we know is not necessary with handmade cards because you guys know, I always say it's handmade. This is not Hallmark. It does not need to be perfect. But you know, I struggle with that. So I'm going to remove all of the backings from all of the pieces first. And then this way I can grab them. and kind of have them ready. And I'm gonna look at all of them first. This one is fine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to press it down right away. I mean, I think that I can probably get them on here how I want them, but just in case. You never know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, let me look right directly over it. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I can press those down. So look how pretty that is. Yeah, the snail doesn't, the top of the foil, even the back of the foil, um, I don't know if you re realized or saw, but my snail was kind of having a hard time um, gripping the back of the foil. So it really does not grip well to the front. So now what I'm going to do is just take some foam. And then we'll add this layer. to this and then what we're gonna do is let me grab some more foam I only have little black strips I wonder if that's gonna be okay well let's see I mean I have more white but they're in big sheets I'm trying to use up all this little stuff that I have laying around. Okay. So now, ooh. So now, I'm going to be pretty gentle with this. I think black is going to be okay. I don't think it's the end of the world that there in the middle and you can see a little tiny bit transferred a little tiny bit but it didn't smear by any means the sentiment and then we're going oh we're gonna put this I gotta get right over it you guys sorry I slept a little bit wrong last night and my neck is kind of hurting on one side so all I did is I wanted to line it up here and then I overlapped the stitching part a tiny bit with the um, the sentiment. So you can kind of see it overlaps a little bit. So can you guys see that? So here is the one that I did when I was designing this. 
and I did this, I don't know, about three days ago, and you can see that it doesn't smear. So it will dry completely, which is really, really nice. And this one, I just stamped, I didn't do the stitching part, I just stamped it. And then afterwards, after I had stamped it, I was like, oh, I think it would look good with a little piece popped up. And then I totally feel like I'm not gonna do it. You guys, I'm not going to. I say that, but then I might. I feel like some copper sequins would look really pretty on it. I don't know, maybe we should put some sequins on it. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to restrain myself and not do it. <laughs> oh, funny. Like, I think it's so pretty, these particular copper sequins. I mean, doesn't anybody else think that this needs sequins or not? No, I really don't think it does. Like, I feel like I want to make it, but I feel like it doesn't. <laughs> okay, back away, back away. Put the sequence down. <laughs> I really want to add them. What about over here without the stitched piece? Like, maybe without the stitched piece? <laughs> mm, these are pretty well I mean it's an option right it's an option <laughs> some of you guys are like yes put the sequence on there I think it looks it looks um, clean and simple without the sequence but that's an option you guys I was trying to think like if rhinestones would look pretty but, um, you know what might look pretty? Do th are these pretty peacock? Oh, oh, uh, no. Like, I just wanted something, like, on, on the side. Uh, do three in a row down the right side of the sentiment. Like, right here? Or right here? Oh, they're shiny. So these are the cards today. I would love to know which one you like better. If you like the one with the rectangle, I feel like maybe you can see it a little bit better now. If you like the one with the rectangle better, or if you like the one with it just stamped on here. <laughs> Julie, 12 step. Oh, Daisy said that. <laughs> I know I can't help it, you guys. I can't help it. Just, you know, put the sequence away. Put the rhinestones down. So I love these. I mean, I think that they're so pretty, you know, just without, with that copper foiling. I think it's pretty. So it's a great way to use up that designer paper and have that focal point, the designer paper, and not have to stamp anything but a sentiment. Oh, Julie, you like this one better. I really like the one with the rectangle. I feel like it gives it a little bit more dimension, but yeah, so I really loved doing that. So I really am in love with these. I think this is a great feature. I ordered, um, on my paper share order, I put the gold and the silver. So I'll be getting the gold and the silver and I will for sure be using the gold and the silver one. Um, I was glad to get the copper one and try it out. I feel like it's making me like copper better. Like I struggle using copper stuff and I feel like it's it has helped. It's like the piece I needed. Like I needed a stamp pad to kind of be able to stamp like the sentiment or, or add things like that. Oh, I think she, um, I think she's on here, Missy. I think, I think I saw my mom pop on here. Yeah. Oh yeah. She said stamp the, stamp the saying and set it aside. Oh, she said the exact thing I said. See, I, I'm teaching her. 
I don't know if she's still on here or not. So anyways, you guys, this is our card. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all of our projects this week. Um, I will be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On my website today, I have my um, a Project Life update. That will be going up in just a few minutes. It's uploading to YouTube right now. So that will be up. I have just a small update on my Project Life album. And then next week, I already have projects planned for you guys. And um, I will be doing uh, lots, lots of things coming up. My paper share order comes in. And then I have a small order, like my last order from the holiday catalog of stuff I'll be getting. And I'll be sharing with you guys the rest of the stuff that I got. And then we'll just have lots of fun and lots of projects. So I hope you guys are having a great Friday. If you're seeing this live on Facebook, if you're seeing it on YouTube, whatever day you're seeing it, I hope you're having a great day. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will talk to you guys later, um, later next week. Have a great day, guys.